Alright, hello there, I'm Taumich and uh, I'm now going to show you some Blender basics for uh, you guys that don't know how to make your uh, items or your stuff in Blender. This will be a very basic tutorial about maneuvering and the orientation and stuff about things here in the screen, the layout. So if we start, uh, the, here you can see recent things and also the version of Blender but uh, just click somewhere else to get rid of that. So first of all, uh, this screen here is our 3D screen, our main view, and uh, we can uh, select different things by right-clicking. So you can right-click the camera and the light, and uh, as you probably can see, this list contains all the objects that we are using. So you can also use this little list to find things. So, now that you know how to select different things with right click, the left click shows you instead how where is uh, the cursor center or it's where you will spawn new things, which I will come to later. Then uh, we have different modes in Blender object and edit mode and uh, you can change to edit mode on the cube by press hitting tab this mode lets you change the look of the cube but if you drag the arrows upwards or downwards depending on what arrow you choose to drag so press tab again to exit the en edit mode and uh, to uh, rotate the camera you just hold down the mouse wheel actually I'm going to add a screencast, perfect so now you can see what I'm pressing over here so to pan the camera around, to rotate the camera just hold down the middle, middle mouse wheel, the scroll wheel and then drag it around like this and then to scroll you just scroll with the mouse wheel so it's pretty simple and yeah that's how you scroll around but as you can see we are currently only scrolling around the cube so if we want to maybe scroll around the camera instead then we will need to move our center of view that's done by holding the shift key and then drag holding the middle mouse key so that you are dragging your middle view up there and you will drag it in a th in a 2D uh, way so i can't drag it back to the cube by just going from this view i need to look from the side to be able to sh change um, depth, depth. So now we, uh, now you know how to maneuver in Blender. If we now learn some uh, basic about the layout, so up here we have the main, uh, like setting part. The um, menu. Here you can create new objects, save and maybe even export if you want to. There are also some user preferences with add-ons. Then we have the add which lets you uh, like spawn different objects and shapes and even armatures and light and lamps. Here you basically add things to the environment. Then we have render which lets you render stuff with as an animation or rendering but this is our this is just hotkey there are some hotkeys for that here in window we can even make full screen and a few small things then we have the help which uh, you can use if you want then over here we have the object tools which change depending on what type of object you have selected. So uh, this 
cube here have some things like rotation, scale, and origin. And uh, yeah, you can even smooth, which makes the shadows more smooth. And then we have uh, down here, in or in I mean in this list down here, we have some things like uh, the type of view we currently are using. So you can change to maybe timeline. Now it's the same one as the bottom one, or we can change to something else like properties. Now it's the same one as the as one in the side here, but the default one is the 3D view. So you can even change this one here to the 3D view, but that one should be. Uh, where is it? Properties. Yeah. So if we go uh, go on here, you can see some numpad hotkeys and a lot of things that you can do. View all. And uh, if you learn these hotkeys, it's it should be pretty useful. Like numpad things here, you can change uh, between 2D and 3D view and f uh, side view front view, top view, and from uh, by pressing 5 you will have 2D or 3D. So yeah, you can just learn to maneuver with those. And then we have the different modes. Objects usually have a lot of other modes, but we have we usually use the edit mode and the object mode. And uh, yeah, you know the shortcut with tab to get to the edit mode. With A in edit mode you will select everything or nothing depending on what's selected. You can even press A multiple times here to select everything or nothing and then you can move it around as a group. Control Z to undo and you can't undo an infinite, an infinite amount of times. Then if we go on, we have the different views here. If you have a texture on your cube, then this one works. The texture view also lets you... Oops. If I move back... So, the texture view also shows you the lightning. Um, how, it will, uh, how the light will affect it. While the solid one shows you the 3D version, yes, only. Then you have some wireframe and things like that. Oops, a rendered view, which is how it would look like if you rendered it. But I'm going to solid view, that's the best one, I think, right now. Then you have some other things here and some layers, which I'll show you another time. Hotkeys to OpenGL rendering as well as animation. Below we have the timeline and this is used for ani animations but uh, I'll show that another time too. Then we have the ta tab or option uh, like preferences um, thing here. Above it is the world or all the things in the world or the scene here but here we have the tabs and if we scale it up a bit by dragging this corner or edge then this is the rendering scene or the rendering tab where you can sh change how you want your object to be rendered and here we have some other th oh, we have some other stuff here is the uh, items uh, uh, name and stuff. Then we have some modifiers which I'll go come to another time. Even some uh, physics and uh, particles that you can add. But the, uh, that's uh, actually this uh, thing here changes depending on what kind of um, item or what kind of object you're choosing. And then, uh, to one last thing before um, 
I have gone through the layout is actually this one where it says the location of the object even if we change object it shows you the location you can also change it by pressing here and maybe writing one and the scale and many other things the camera view you can lock it to the cursor or to an object so now it depending on where I press with the left key and depending on where I left pre press with the left button uh, the cursor will move there and I will lock the camera to the cursor but I never use that so you can render with a border and some other things that uh, I'll not show you this time so if we hide that and uh, now I'll show you how to make new screens as I, sh I showed you with this thing here you can have multiple screens of the same type or so here in the upper edge you can see some uh, lines uh, diagonal lines if you hold uh, with the left key there and drag out then you will see that we, we have uh, splitted the scene in two and this scene can now be used separately to make whatever you want but and you can even sh change here as I showed you before so you can have image thing or graph uh, yeah many crazy things and but the one important thing that I had problem with in the start was to remove how to remove it and the way to remove it is by uh, r right clicking at the edge and then pressing join area and choosing which one to be deleted so now we ha that's gone perfect so uh, this is the basic maneuvering of in blender and i hope you learned something of it so yeah thank you for watching and uh, look the next one if you want to learn some more things goodbye <laughs>